Hi, my name is Rick Sanchez. I'm with a company called Tractor Tip, and what we have for day for sale here today is a Bros broom. This is an RJ300 uh, four-wheel broom. It's got an eight-foot uh, an eight-foot broom. It's called an eight-foot broom. Um, we're going to talk about the mechanics and the operating specs, and we'll run it. Uh, it's a good running broom. Um, there's a uh, there's a gasket right here that's leaking. We didn't uh, we didn't repair it or this valve right here. It's not a big deal. It's just water. And actually, when you're sweeping, you want to spray anyway. So, um, but uh, yeah. So anyway, um, this a new broom like this is about fifty five, sixty thousand um, dollars. The hours on this broom are 2,770. As far as manufacturers go, uh, Bros is pretty ubiquitous out there. We, uh, they're probably the number one or number two seller of, uh, you know, highway construction brooms. The weight of this broom is, is 5,000 pounds. The widest point are the ends of this uh, carriage right here, which are nine foot six inches. The tallest point is the top of that smokestack right there at nine foot six inches. If you take that little smokestack off, the top, tallest point would be the top of that cap for shipping purposes and it would be eight foot six inches. The transportation length from front to back is 14 foot 6 inches. All of the hydraulics operate on this machine as they should. Uh, there's no leaks other than this uh, water valve leak right here that I mentioned, which in my opinion is, is really a non-issue. Um, you know, as far as options go, it, doesn't have much in the way of options other than a spray system that works. Um, these are typically two-wheel drives. This is a two-wheel drive unit. Um, as far as the engine goes, this is a uh, 75 horsepower John Deere engine. It's mechanically sound. Everything works. Everything on this machine works. Uh, again, there's no leaks. Top speed on this machine is about 20 miles an hour. Um, the tires are about 50%. There's no cuts on any of the tires. Hydraulics are strong. There's no cracks or wells. There's no cracks or wells anywhere on the work equipment. This bonnet right here is uh, a little beat up, but the only thing that bonnet is for is to, you know, keep the uh, dust from kicking back up on the cab for so. I mean, it's a little dinged up, but it doesn't doesn't hurt it any. It doesn't affect the uh, functionality, the operation, or the safety of the machine. So, the bristles on this machine are 100%. Uh, we uh, we just uh, replaced them, and as, as you can see over here. Actually, we started, uh, we sweep this yard off with the broom. You can see where we were using it earlier. We get uh, we get some runoff here and use this broom to sweep the yard. So uh, we're gonna run it in the next clip.
So this is kind of a cab operator's view. This is a seat. This is your forward and reverse pedal. It's hydrostatic, obviously. This is your throttle control. This is this is the up down on your uh, bonnet or your broom, actually. Uh, this is the articulation of the broom, and this is the spinning of the broom. So. All of the gauges, with the exception of this uh, speedometer gauge, work. I'll show you that here in just a second. 